All right, my dudes, we got the coolest miter saw accessory that I, and maybe even you, have ever seen. And no, it's not this tape measure. And no, it's not the tape measure, but a lot of us use this when we go to slice and dice on the miter saw. This could also lead to inaccurate cuts, which is why I'm going to bring you this. Say hello to the all new Recon M1 Caliber. Now this is a cool tool that a lot of you have been waiting for and I'm finally able to bring it to you. I'll put a link in the description below for you to check this out. We have nothing to do with this company other than they let us use this tool. Don't judge me. So let me show you how this thing is going to work. It is going to completely change how you do things. We're going to take our back fence here. We're going to slide this out a little bit. And then on the back of the recon, what we're going to do is you've got a little clamp right here. All you have to do is go on the back side of that fence and clamp it down you can see it's a very heavy duty material on the back so this thing should last you a very very long time you also got that really large wheel which i'll show you how that works but just come on the back of that fence and then clamp it down just push and that is it that's all you got to do and if you want to release it you just push down on that clamp again and it'll pop off but it won't go anywhere you can use this on your dewalt saws your rigid saws your milwaukee saws or whatever now you can see I just hit the power button, don't worry I'll show you that, but check this wheel out. Are you getting what I'm putting down? Are you understanding what this is now? Do ya? Do ya? Super sliding, gliding wheel right here. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works, but let's take a look at the screen real quick. So you got your screen right here. We are out in the daylight. You might not notice it, but it's pretty sunny. You can pick up on it half decent. The camera's not doing a very good job, but you can definitely see it out in the sun, the daylight. I'll bring this inside so you can see it a little bit better, but it runs off of a couple double A's, I believe, and you just hit that power button to turn that on, turn it off, and those are your measurements. Now over here, you can change the type of measurement that you want, and then over here, sets it to zero. Don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through this. Ah, uh, the darkness. Okay, so let's hit the power button. You can see that we are at centimeters. You can change your different types of measurement here. You got inch, feet, inch, you got inch and fractions and all that good stuff. So whatever you want to set this up as, you can do that simply by hitting that button. Now right here, you're going to zero that out. And I'm going to show you why you want to do that. So we're going to take a piece of wood right here. And we're just going to slide it up to our blade. Whatever you slide underneath that wheel, well, it's going to measure. So you have to zero it out. Bring it up to the blade. Make sure it's flush. And then once you zero it, you are set. You can make continuous cut after cut after cut, whatever you want to do. Just hit zero. You can see it goes to zero inches. That's what we're set up for because we're in the States. And check this out. We set it to zero. Say you're making cuts at 12 inches long. You need 10 of those. Well, once you butt it up against your blade, you zero it out. You can continuously make those cuts. It'll line it up perfectly to get the exact same measurement every time. Don't have to worry about that tape measure anymore. If you move it just a little bit, it will move that measurement. It is very, very precise and very, very sensitive. Like me, if you don't smoosh that like button. Now, what's really cool about this is that arm will automatically adjust in height. And if I remember correctly, I think it was about three or three and a half inches I was running under there with no issue. I had to return this tool so I don't really remember. You'll be able to find it on the website. I'll leave that link in the description. Now, just to give you a picture of everything that you're going to be using on this tool, you know, it's right here. You got the integrated clamp, you got the auto adjust arm, the screen, it's LCD, and you got the high visibility function and function buttons, and yeah, you get it. But the locking arm, very cool. You just lock it up like so, and then it'll come down like so. So it'll stay out of your way, and then you just roll that through, and it measures every single cut the same. Now, what I really like about this is not only is it built really well, you can see that LCD screen very easily. It's just so much quicker than having to deal with the tape measure over and over and over again. Once you use that tape measure, you got to line up your cut. You got to bring down your saw. This right here, it measures it out for you every single time. I also really think it was smart of them to add the different types of measuring systems on here, not just in inches or centimeters or millimeters. They go through the whole range. Now, when I had got this, it was just in beta testing, right? I wasn't able to release it into today, and today is 428-2020. The site just went live. Again, I'll put a link in the description for you to check out. But they're going to make even more advances to this. Even though this is a pretty heavy-duty unit right off the bat, 
they're gonna beef it up even more this thing is solid there's no charging station there's no plugs there's nothing you just throw a couple I believe double A batteries if I remember correctly on the side of the unit and it is ready to rock and roll again now after I was done making my cuts not only did I measure it with a tape measure I measured it with a laser distance measure and they were all the exact same and again, what's really cool about this is once you make that cut, if you want to readjust your length, all you got to do is zero that out again, bring it up to that blade and zero it. And it is ready to go for whatever length you are ready to go again. Now, as for the arm, it stays in place. You bring it up, it'll snap in, it'll lock itself. You don't have to worry about it coming down. Again, all those buttons are larger, but it's such an easy unit to use. That wheel glides so well on that. When you bring it back, it'll subtract. If you bring it forward, it will add. Now, the only issue you're going to have is if I am going to bring my bevel to the left, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I would have to move that if I needed to. And that's really the only downside about this. If you're going to make that bevel cut, you're going to have issues with that over there. But that's really the only downside I can see. And you can always just make your cut on the other side if you wanted to. But I'm telling you, if you're somebody that's framing or if you're consistently making the same cut over and over again or if you just don't feel like dealing with the tape measure, check this thing out. It is freaking awesome. I was so excited to bring this to the channel. I know a lot of people were waiting for it and we were finally able to get it here. And I mean, really what surprised me about this is the build quality and just how well it is made. I mean, check out the springs on that thing. It is, it is just awesome. Every, everything on this is just easy to use. And that's why I was so happy to be able to bring this to you. I know a lot of people were excited to see it. And finally, it's here. Now, I have no idea what the cost of this is going to be. But you can pre-order them in June. And I'm sure they'll probably give you a price for it. Again, we have nothing to do with this company. They just sent this over for us to take a look at. We didn't get paid for this review, nothing. I just think it's really cool, and I couldn't wait to bring it to you. But I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comments section below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Would you use this if you had the opportunity? Love hearing your feedback. If you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you could smash that like button because it greatly helps the channel. And also, if you like these types of tools, the cool stuff coming to the market, don't forget to get subscribed and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on them. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and we'll be back with more videos soon.